Pepperdine's dead week, the week before finals, is traditionally one of rest, but the men's basketball team has a crucial game against Long Beach State on Saturday, so Wednesday means practice. We're playing around the world. I just beat him tonight. He wants to run it back, so that's what we got to do right now. I told the coach, look, you're a great shooter. You're a great shooter. But slow and steady wins the race, bud. A half hour before the team takes the court, a few of the players are getting up shots. Elsewhere, in the wings of the building, team manager Nina Harris is in the midst of her own pre-practice routine. After practice and the day, we usually come and the guys just hang loops. Each one has their names on it and they throw all of their dirty clothes in here and we'll just come in and chuck them. I've always had a love for sports. My older brother did about every sport possible, and I just loved being able to help, um, just being able to be on the court and get to know the guys personally. And then it's just really fun to watch them during a the game and be like, hey, I know, I know that guy. I saw him working on that skill. I see them progressing, and like, we may do the little things, but it's the little things that add to create something bigger. Yeah, the laundry is not the prettiest, but it's a lot easier than it looks. Um, I remember during NSO, I was really nervous and Coach Wilson loves to tell this story. Last year when she was a freshman, uh, I was talking to a family and she waited on the side afterwards. She, she introduced herself to me, gave me a big strong uh, grip handshake. I was really bold and really brave and I said, hi, my name is Nina. I love sports and I would love to work with your team in any way possible. And then I asked her, hey, would you like to be a manager? She said, hey, that's exactly why I'm approaching you. And she's been phenomenal ever since. I met with him and the other coaches that day. And then within the next two weeks, I was working with the basketball team. Running a Division I basketball program is a massive undertaking. And it's the little contributions from unsung heroes that ultimately create the biggest waves of change. Connor Ashley Randlett, nicknamed Cash by the team, takes unparalleled pride in her work. Some of them get really dirty from the ground. Not that it's any less special, just harder to grip. And then sometimes the colors all look the same, but then you have to look at the Nike symbol and see how faded that is. You don't want a faded Nike symbol. It doesn't go unnoticed by the staff. They're all perfectly in order. All the swooshes are turned the same way. Uh, she ranks the balls, uh, the best ball to the worst ball, and she puts them all on the rack. And it just shows the pride that she has in her work. And we share those things with our players because we tell our guys that the managers are there to help you. Uh, they don't work for you, they work with you. Practice begins with film. Reviewing old games often means working to correct mistakes. But the Pepperdine coaching staff also likes to highlight successes. Another one here, great job. Love your fight. <coughs> Harry, you try to side. We switch just in time, we get the steal. Nice job, my look, look at Nolan. The difference between Cal Poly game and here. Hey, back that up, I just talked to Nolan outside before we came in, we're gonna do this, okay? Big fella's pretty good. I mean, he's a load, as, as you guys know, 6'10", 260. But Nolan carried over, as Coach mentioned, carried over from practice, our up the line drill, our break contact and, and get to a side drill. We're gonna do that collectively, all of us. We're all gonna be down there because we're switching. We're in 4X, we gotta make it tough for those guys getting it. <laughs> Nolan did a heck of a job. The guy gets eight, nine points and very few touches. Nevertheless, there are things the players need to shore up before Saturday. Today's practice is tailored toward getting better. Kevin ducks in, he's leaning on the guy, the ball's there, he's leaning on the guy. We need him to be off, okay? We don't need you to get in foul trouble. Get off, you don't wrestle with the guy, get around him. Trust that that guy's gonna be back there, all right? Up the line. Competition, even the friendly kind, brings out the best in a player. The Waves know the only way to get better is by getting tougher. Hey, 
Hey, hey, boys. On that seat. I'm a four. Take a flash. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Exhaustion overtakes the players by the end of practice. This fatigue is the closest synthesis to the tribulations of a real game. The coaches capitalize. Five players, five free throws. Make them all, and practice is over. Miss them, and everyone sprints. Cole, Coop, Trey, Knox. Knox. Want me to do it, Kev? Good, buddy. Oh, cool. Run hard early now. Let's go. Push, Biggie. Greatness is not wished into existence. It is forged in the fire, day after day, brick after brick, until excellence becomes habit. This is the journey Pepperdine basketball is on. This is the challenge they signed up for, the challenge that drives them. Today was another brick in that foundation. The journey continues Saturday.